white flag. Based on its depiction and lore, it's a symbol of surrender, of failure, of defeat. But for another crowd, it means something different. Brigham Young University, 30,000 undergraduate students in 200 different programs. One of the heaviest course loads at 136 credit hours is mechanical engineering. Before they finish and graduate, students must complete a two semester long product development class in which they work in one of many projects. This year, the hardest of those 32 projects done was the BYU SAE Mini Baja team. This year, 13 of those graduating seniors, along with five volunteer underclassmen, joined the team. On that team, we've got gearheads, bookworms, machinists, mathematics, managers, men who have built cars from the ground up, some who have only raced in Mario Kart, and me. We went about for the next two semesters designing, engineering, and building a car, a one-person off-road machine that would compete in five different events. A rock crawl, a maneuverability event, an acceleration event, a hill climb, and a four-hour endurance race. By February it went from a labor of love to a labor of hatred, or of 50% effectiveness, by nature or perhaps just by my personal weakness. Many hours, days, and nights, we left our loved ones at home to weep and wail as we gnash our teeth over some problem on the car. By this time in the semester, it became apparent what crowd members of the teams were on. As some of them threw in the white flag and gave up, while others were true racers and saw that white flag as the final lap and just went harder and faster. Graduation came and went and the car was not competition ready. After graduation we still had another month before the competition and that last month was hell. With a long list of things to fix and do on the car, a shortage on time and demand for fresh ideas, no fuel left in the mental tank and even less in the stomach, no toes left unstepped, no hide left unchapped, and a trash can full of Dr. Pepper cans. Now comes the part where I couldn't decide what crowd I was in. There were multiple nights that last week where I saw the sun go down from inside the race shop only to watch it come up again in the morning still working on the car. I felt I had put in plenty of time that last week on the car. I didn't want to go to competition anymore. So I was left to choose where the end was. My team could get by without me at competition and still perform fine, and my employer would be much happier if I stayed home and worked. But for better or worse regarding my employment, I had a friend talk me into it. At the competition the stress grew and although I kept trying to tell myself this was just a school project similar to a paper mache volcano or a styrofoam solar system you see at a science fair, a competitive monster with an appetite for victory was released every time I, I wrenched on the car. The point of this video is not to persuade people to do the mini Baja team because I myself am still trying to figure out if it was worth it. The point of this video is to encourage all of you to be a racer. See that white flag as an opportunity to push harder and faster and finish strong, not as a symbol of surrender. No matter the hell or high water that it takes to finish that final lap, or the thankless number of man hours that will go in to making sure that final lap gets finished. <laughs>
pouco mais. as hard as I could to get the car done and to try and make their lives easier, although sometimes I think I just made them harder. How do you see the white flag? What crowd are you part of? What crowd do you choose to be part of? Are you a racer? Will you see that white flag and say, one more lap? Or will you throw your hands in the air and say, I give up? Not everyone is into motorsports. But if you don't complete that final lap, you'll never see what's next. I hope I always choose that flag.